VSPER is the interactive visualization framework that displays results and quality control data from magic analysis of CRISPR-Cas9 screens. In the previous video, we demonstrated VSPER's quality control capabilities. In this video, we'll show you how VSPER displays results. Again, open up the VSPER demo by running VSPER test or by following the directions in the configuration file. However, we recommend the first method for this video so that you can see VSPER's capacity for handling multiple experiments with multiple conditions. This time, under Experiments, choose the Leukemia dataset. Clicking on VSPER's results view, a menu pops up offering positive and negative selection results for each sample as well as an overall clustering visualization. First, let's explore the clustering feature. Every line on this visualization represents a single gene color-coded by its essentiality according to MAGIC's new gene ranking algorithm, MAGIC MLE. Positively selected genes are red and negatively selected ones are blue. The more essential they are, the darker their color. The K value determines how many clusters the genes are sorted into, with the default value being 4. The color boxes on the left help distinguish between clusters. This clustering visualization gives a good overview of gene function in each sample and how closely related the samples are. Next, let's move on to the gene rankings on the main results page. We'll switch back to ESC in this tutorial so you can see the full range of features VSPER offers. Click on Positive Selection. The first thing you'll see is a table displaying the comparison results of each gene. You can filter the results by entering expressions into the search box. The results can also be sorted forwards and backwards by clicking on the appropriate column. The table can be easily downloaded from the menu as a tab-delimited text file. On the top right, VSPER provides the distribution of p-values as a cumulative distribution function and as a histogram. You can click on the rightmost button beside each target to see where it falls on the function. Clicking on the middle button next to a target displays a parallel coordinate visualization for the corresponding sgRNAs. The axes represent normalized counts for each sample, as well as their efficiencies and chromosome positions. You can reorder the axes by dragging them around. Double-click an axis label to reverse it. You can highlight certain ranges on each axis to display only sgRNAs that fall within them. Get rid of a highlighted range by clicking outside of it. VSPER also incorporates existing third-party tools. First up is Ensemble. Clicking on a gene name will lead you to the gene's Ensemble page, where you can explore its transcriptional and other information. Using Gene Mania, the interaction network and function of selected genes can be visualized. Simply select a few genes, click Show in Gene Mania, and you will be directed to the Gene Mania website. The genes colored black are the ones previously selected, and you can explore their functions and other information by browsing the tabs. As touched upon in the previous video, further functional analysis can be performed with Gorilla, an online gene ontology enrichment analysis tool. Select GO Enrichment in the menu, pick a p-value upper limit, and hit OK. Gorilla will display a flowchart organizing enriched GO terms with the colors showing their statistical significance. Below the flowchart, you will find a table listing all GO terms and their statistics. Especially for negative selection experiments, this can serve as the fourth level of quality control. Finally, VSPER provides sgRNA read count and location information via IGV, the Integrative Genomics Viewer. Go to the menu and select IGV. If you don't have IGV installed, click download on the pop-up window to visit the installation page. You may have to complete a simple free registration to access it. Then, follow the instructions for installation depending on your operating system. Once you have an IGV window open, go back to VSPER's IGV menu and click Load Data. Wait until bars appear. Then, you can jump to each target via the leftmost buttons on VSPER. IGV will show you where each target is located on the chromosome. You can hover over the bars to see the sgRNAs they represent as well as their read count values. For more information, see the IGV documentation linked below. Finally, let's see how VSPER allows users to compare experiments. Click on the Compare Experiments tab. Here, you can select multiple experiments and see where their significant targets overlap. You can filter the targets included by changing the maximum false discovery rate allowed in the second drop-down menu. Hovering over a section of the Euler diagram shows how many targets fall within it. Clicking on one brings you to the results page with a table including only the selected targets, which you can then explore further. And that's it! You now know how to use VSPER's internal and external features to explore the results of CRISPR-Cas9 screening data within experiments and between experiments. For more information on results, 
Magic Visper, or the third-party applications incorporated in Visper. Please visit the links in the video description below. If you've watched all of the preceding videos, you have now mastered Magic Visper and are ready to apply it to your own real data.